I'm sorry, my bed makes a lot of noise. Hello, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I am here to talk with you about something important, especially if you want to go to college for musical theater. But before I get started, I just want to say to everyone who is a part of the class of 2020, like myself, um, I'm here for you. We got this. I know that times are tough, but we will persevere. We will get through this. Also, if you're a part of the class of 2020 and you're an MT major, congrats! Because hopefully by the time I post this or close to around when I post this, it'll be decision day and you will have decided where you're going to school. Like I have, I'm sporting all of the merch right now. This video goes out to all of the juniors who want to major in musical theater and they are lost on this crazy process. It is insane. There are so many things that go into it and I really want to help you guys out. Um, so I have a handy dandy list on my iPad of um, all the things that um, I wish I knew when I was starting out and hopefully will help you guys. Um, I'm going to film this video in two parts, pre-screens, and then my second one is going to be about like Chicago Unified. There are two, no, three different Unifieds, New York, LA, and Chicago, and then there's Moonifieds, which that's a whole nother thing. I'm going to be giving you guys advice on filming your pre-screens. Um, let's get started. So first thing, I recommend that you make a spreadsheet um, with all the rep requirements for each school, having a list of um, like the song requirements, whether it's 32 bar, 16, if they have like a minute time limit, like a, like a minute or 90 seconds, um, write that down. If they ask for like a certain um, type of shot when you film um, a video, like certain schools will ask you for like a full body shot or a mid shot. Write that down. For all the schools that you're applying for, make a list of these things. And then you can look at all of the schools that you're applying to and compare and contrast. A lot of the schools for pre-screens, they did something called the common pre-screen, which was where... I explained this bad. Okay, mom, what did you say? Explain. I said that the common <laughs> pre-screen is really not a common pre-screen. All it means is that a bunch of schools got together and agreed upon the requirements for the monologue, the video, and the dance, meaning how long uh, for each and the number of. So it just makes it easier so that every school doesn't have a different requirement. But you still need to check every school is not on the common pre-screen bandwagon. Yep, I'm about to talk about that. Thanks. Mother knows best. Okay, literally don't listen to anything I just said because my mom explained it better than me, okay? Not all schools do the common pre-screen, but um, the ones that do, pay attention to which option they have um, and write that down. Someone should count how many times I say write that down. What the option is, specifically the requirements, and... Um, and you can compare and contrast because several of the schools I applied to use the common pre-screen. I didn't have to film as many videos as I thought. You don't have to film that many videos. Um, I hope I explained the common pre-screen well. It was a way for schools to organize uh, the pre-screen to make it less complicated, even though I think it kind of made it more complicated because not all schools did the common pre-screen. Some of them don't, some of them have their own requirement it's not too difficult because um, a lot of the like the common pre-screen options a lot of the schools offer the same thing they just don't say they're a part of the common pre-screen Two, plan a day when you're going to film your pre-screens I filmed them in my house um, I didn't have you don't have to film it in a studio or anything if you have a place in your house that you think will work um, I, I suggest you do that instead of the hassle of having to like rent out a studio, you know, pay money and all of that. And so basically, um, when I filmed my pre-screens, uh, 
my parents they they left the house for the day so that I could just focus on that and I wouldn't have to worry about background noise or anything and then I filmed my free screens for the entire day I just knocked them all out and I highly recommend you do this so that you know you don't have to worry about it later um, you just get them all done in one day and you know then you're done if you don't want to use your your house or um, you, you want to use a studio make sure that the sound is good because that is important because if they can't hear you you know like when I was filming my pre screens I had difficulty with um, like my filming setup like my tripod thing which I um, because I used a room in my house and we didn't like plan beforehand where I was gonna put my camera which was my phone sorry <laughs> to film everything um, which did not help me because I ended up wasting time trying to figure out all of that so I highly recommend before you film your pre screens make sure you plan where you're gonna put your camera and make sure the setup is good and that you can um, move your camera around so that you can get all of the shots you need like the mid shots or the full body shots if the school asks for it. I would recommend before you start filming your pre-screens that you plan your outfit, um, your hair, makeup, and everything so that you look presentable and you feel good about how you look in the video. If the school requires a wild card video, um, usually a wild card video is like a video where you can do basically whatever you want, um, anything that represents you. Like for example, I know some people like do like a, a dance skill that they didn't get to show in their regular dance pre-screen. What I did is I like, I like art, so I showed like one of my art pieces in my video. Um, some people play an instrument, you know, it can be anything. It's not required. But I recommend you do it because it helps the school see more of you. You can trim the beginning and end of your video. Like for me, since I didn't have anyone filming my video, I just had my phone. I would press the button and then I'd like run to, um, I'd run to turn on my, my, um, audio. And then I do my singing or monologue or whatever. And then I turn it off. So you can trim that. But most schools don't like you to splice clips together. If a school tells you specifically not to, definitely don't. I don't remember if there are any schools that didn't say you could splice or not, but I wouldn't, um, just to be safe. And if you don't want to have to deal with trimming the beginning or end, I would recommend finding someone to film it for you. But you do not need professional equipment. They don't care. <laughs> as long as they can see and hear you, everything is good. Double check your takes and make sure you like them so after you do a take and you don't feel good about it, you know, just do it again. Just make sure you feel good about it because you don't want to submit something you don't feel good about. Make sure you find a good place to do your dance video. Um, and as I said before, the key is paying attention to the requirements like the shots and the, the time limit. So make sure your dance is however long they require. So I recommend that you organize and name the videos properly. It would be awful if you didn't finish um, all of your pre- if you if you plan to film all your pre-screens in one day. If you didn't finish like one video. Some schools even require for you to name them a certain way. I don't know if it affects whether or not they look at the videos. If you don't name it a certain way, I don't know if they'll like not pass your pre-screen, but I wouldn't risk it. I would just, you know, follow their directions. That's something that's really important is to follow the directions, especially when it comes to repertoire and like time limits and cutoffs and all that because a lot of the uploading um, software that schools use, you they can see the timestamp of how long their video is. Sure, they probably don't watch the videos that are longer. I don't know that for a fact, but um, you know, you don't want to like waste their time. So just make sure that you pay attention to everything. For a lot of, for the pre-screens, some people use like live accompaniment, accompaniment, accompaniment. or they do like um, audio tracks. A lot of people record, um, record their, uh, um, their accompanist um, doing their, their cut specifically. And then they play it when they do their pre-screen and some people um, 
have someone there live. Now, what I did was, um, there are so many, like, YouTube, um, piano tracks, um, of, like, karaoke tracks and songs. If you can't get in a, a com- I can't say that word. I don't know who decided to make this word so difficult, but whoever you are, you're mean. Someone to accompany you. <laughs> I recommend using, um youtube tracks there's no really rule they don't check if um you're using a youtube track i don't think they really care as long as you're just not just don't sing acapella i definitely recommend um finding if you don't have an account someone to accompany you um that you can use a youtube track um sometimes they they don't want like a track with like the full orchestra they just want piano so make sure you look for that and make sure if they say that do not put that in there when you finish filming your pre-screens double check all of the requirements until you're sure that you filmed everything sure I filmed all my pre-screens I we also found a day to upload all of my videos so like me and my mom we had our laptops we bought a bunch of unhealthy snacks and we're like okay we are going to submit all of these videos today um so make sure that's why it's so important to know where these files are so that you um you don't um you don't lose anything but make sure you pay attention to what the site says and also when you're uploading your pre-screens um there's like two main sites that schools use they either use their own uploading type thing or they use get accepted which i'll put like a little picture a lot of schools use get accepted but some of them are like just don't do that they have their own like uploading portal so make sure you double check where to upload things um, I put that on my spreadsheet like I mentioned earlier, like whether or not the school um, accepts get accepted with the website or they have their own portal. So that really helped me. And I recommend getting your stuff done early so you can schedule your auditions at Unifies or on campus as soon as possible because those slots do fill up fast. That is it. I wish all of the juniors um, luck on filming your pre-screens. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, I know I probably missed a lot of things, but um, I really hope this video helps you. Good luck, future MTEs.